We're looking at the finishing touch to your favorite blade carrier in this episode of Airsoftology Reviews. So if you've ever put on a plate carrier, if you have one and you've never dropped in some sort of plate or foam or something inside to add some substance, you'll know it's just not quite complete. And doing it yourself can be, it's okay, but there's some downsides. I've personally run in the past those hard plastic plates. I still have some. Uh, they can be very hot and sweaty. While being lightweight, they do make it tough when you run really long milsim events. Oh, you can do the training plates, which are actually weighted up to even five pounds a piece and add an extra 10 pounds to your body which will wear on you after a while because I tend to load up my gear pretty heavy. Well, PTS has one of those like stupid simple solutions that I really wish I had a long time ago and I'm glad I have now and it is their foam training plates. So the first thing is how light these are. These are ridiculously light. I mean, I'm talking like I, like mere ounces of weight that add in it. But because they're nice and thick, you've got almost an inch, a little here under an inch of, of actual size, they fill out your plate carrier. Inside, they have a very soft foam, and it's bendable, so it has a little bit of give, but enough structure to hold together. Outside, you have a ballistic nylon material that does have a little bit of breathability to it. It's like the foam on the inside isn't that, what they call a closed cell, which is like the plastic where it almost has a sheen. This is that soft open cell foam, so there's a touch of breathability. What that means for you on the battlefield, especially long days of playing is when you do get hot, you do get a little sweaty, you have a little breathability and these things kind of act as a little bit of a sponge for you too. So if you get a little sweatier on the, uh, the gameplay, they will help kind of keep it away from your body. The other great thing about these foam plates are, aside from them being cut perfectly to fit into uh, your plate carrier, is the fact they come in different sizes. This is a small, and you're, you're gonna go, well, Jonathan, you're not a small. I know, I'm not a small. I actually usually wear medium-sized plates, and that's the ones I personally run in my gear, but I wanted to show you these smalls here as another option, because if you've ever tried to track down a small imitation plate to, to put in your carrier, you know it's a near impossibility, and for PTS to come out with the small and the medium size, it is a big deal. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with how plate carrier plates work, the plate carrier is typically sized or is sized to the same size of your plate. It's not your body size, it's your plate size. So what, how you do it, you have a measurement that kind of goes between your collarbone and your belly button. I could get into all that. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to learn how to measure your own plates. But let's face it, if you're kind of a little shorter, small plate's gonna work. I'm a medium even though I'm six feet tall, and you can move up to large. I actually kind of float between a medium and a large myself. But these smalls are a heaven sin for you smaller players that run the more low profile plate carriers. So guys, if you're looking for something to fill up your plate carrier and you're any size, small, medium, or even large, they have all three options in their lineup, definitely check out the PTS Enhanced Flexible Plates and you can pick these up in all three different sizes ranging from like the low 20s to the high $20 mark depending on the size, they do kind of price up a little bit. And if you guys want to learn more, as always, I have a link down in the description below. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you're not currently a subscriber, click on the logo in the bottom right or in the description and you'll always be in the know. Plus, if you like what you saw in this video and want to learn more, I've got a link down there as well. And if you haven't had your airsoft fix just yet, click in the videos on the right or use the info button at the top of the screen for more. And as the saying goes, everyone has an opinion and I do want to hear yours. So give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video, comment and share.